Good evening, everyone. The body of Jelani Day has been pulled out of the river. He was a student at Illinois State University. His body was seen floating in the Illinois River on September the 4th. Using DNA tests and dental records, the medical examiner confirmed JJ's identity. At this time, the cause of death is unknown. The toxicology is testing. It is an ongoing investigation. His Chrysler 300 was found 60 miles away in Peru. Jelani's clothes that he was seen wearing in the surveillance, surveillance video were found in the car. 25-year-old Jelani had been missing since August 24th around 9-12 at the Beyond Hello store in Bloomington. He can be seen in a Jimi Hendrix shirt. His mother, Carmen Bowden Day, had spoken out in recent days about her son being missing after Gabby Petito had been found. She said it wasn't like him to disappear without telling her. Jelani was a graduate from Alabama A&M with a degree in speech-language pathology. According to his mother, he wanted to become Dr. Jelani Day. Here is Jelani's mother speaking on him before the body was found. Let's listen to this clip. The young man that inspired Jelani to go to school to be a speech pathologist, that young man, his name is Paul DeArmi. He's a white boy. So this is not about that I'm racist or that I don't like white people, but the white privilege that is being given versus the help that's being given to my black son, it exists and I can't ignore it. And I'm not gonna be quiet and silent because my son is still out there and he's missing. They found Gabby in three days. It's 27 days and I don't know what you like. Trusting in God that my son is going to be okay. I'm believing and trusting in God that I'm going to see Jelani and I'm going to be able to talk to him and hug him. I need to know where my son is. I want to find my son. I need them to use all the resources that I just watched them make available to Gabby Petito and her family. On September 4th, a search team found a body in the Illinois River near Peru. The coroner told Bolden's family it could take several weeks or months to identify the body because of the condition. So I feel like we're just sitting here waiting to identify this unidentified body before they say, hey, we need the FBI to come in and help us. I'm going to do everything in my power to bring him home. And I'm not going to stop. Now let's take a look at what the officer had to say. Some closure, um, you know, we get some details out there, uh, but again, it, it's just a terrible situ situation all the way around. Um, again, I, I couldn't put myself in their shoes, um, feeling how they would feel. Okay. Uh, so first I want to introduce myself. I'm Officer John Furman. I'm the public information officer with the Bloomington Police Department. Um, you know, to catch people up on kind of this case, um, the Bloomington Police has been the lead, um, you know, in the investigation um, behind Jelani Day's disappearance. Um, the second thing I want to, I, I want to, you know, say and get out there, um, you know, our thoughts and prayers are with Jelani's family, their friends, um, you know, everyone that's involved in this. Uh, it's kind of touched the hearts of everybody in America. Um, and I want to also tell people especially on social media things like that make sure if your comments or anything like that are supportive and they're empathetic of what the family's going through um, you know personally I don't know how I would be if I were in their shoes um, so just remember to support them be empathetic with them um, you know they're going through a grieving process right now um, so again everybody try to especially online make sure that you're empathetic um, so the next part, I'm just going to talk basically through this media release. Um, today, the LaSalle County Coroner's Office identified the male body that was found on September 4th um, as Jelani Day of Bloomington, Illinois. Um, this was done through forensic dental identification um, and DNA testing in comparison. Currently, from the LaSalle County Coroner's Office, uh, the cause of death is unknown, pending further investigation and toxicology testing. Um, for those who may not know all the information, uh, Jelani Day was reported missing on August 25th, 2021 here in Bloomington. Uh, the family reported they had last spoken with him on the uh, evening hours of Monday, August 23rd, 2021. Um, throughout part of the investigation, we learned uh, that he was last seen on campus on August 24th. 
and then we learned some more information throughout the investigation that he was uh, seen at Beyond Hello, a retail shop here in Bloomington. Um, we released a lot of that information um, in hopes to solicit tips um, you know, on his location. Um, on August 26, Jelani's vehicle was located in Peru, Illinois. Um, based on the findings of that vehicle, Peru Police Department, along with other agencies, including the state police, did a, uh, you know, I'd say a, a coordinated search in the area. Um, we collected a lot of evidence from the vehicle, um, and we were using a lot of that, um, you know, evidence to, to go through digital uh, data, sorry. Um, so, you know, the investigation continued while we were combing through a lot of that data. Um, you know, we relied heavily on different agencies throughout the uh, investigation. Um, the Peru Police Department um, did a great job in helping with us, soliciting leads. Um, you know, they asked for a lot of camera footage. Um, throughout that part of the investigation, we got um, some more information that I can't specifically release, um, which led to a large scale search coordinated by um, you know, several different agencies and professional search agencies, um, which that was on um, September 4th when we located the body. So they started that search um, in the early morning of September 4th. Uh, it's just another sad day in America. It is so much going on in the world today. Keep Jelani's family in your prayers. I pray that they find the cause of death. We need more peace on earth. Thanks for watching and good night.